Hey everyone, it's Amy and today I'm going to be showing you how to create these Easter nails. So I'm going to go ahead and do the set on some press-ons. So I have my sizes all picked out. I'm going to do the long coffin. And for my first color, I'm going to start out with Light Elegance's Bare Canvas. This is from their recent spring collection. I'll leave a link to their spring collection down below. But this is a yellow vanilla bean type of a color. I'm going to go ahead and paint this on three of the nails for background. Next, we're going to take Light Elegance's Just a Few More Sleeps. This was from their recent winter collection. It is a beautiful uh, blue, slightly teal, super sparkly. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the last two nails. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of both of the colors. And before we cure the glitter, I'm going to take some loose glitter from Glitter Heaven Australia. This is the Pastel Blue Hearts and Crosses, which I thought would be fitting for Easter. So I'm going to take uh, some crosses and some hearts, and I'm going to kind of go every other one, a heart across, a heart across. And I just kind of fill in how I see fit. Next, we're going to go in with some Easter foils. I'm going to take my foil adhesive gel from Jelly Nails, and I'm going to paint all three of the nude nails. Go ahead and cure that. Here are my Easter foils. This was a little bundle I got from her. And here is the specific foil I'm going to be using. It has these really cute cartoon bunnies and eggs and flowers, and it has that teal sort of a color in it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors. These are from Glitter Mix Canada. They're super cute. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out my little designs that I want. Once I have all of the designs cut out and the gel is finished curing, I go ahead and start with the middle nail and I'm going to take the bouquet of flowers that the bunny is holding and I'm going to put this right in the middle of the nail. And I'm just going to use my C-curve tweezers today to apply the foils. Next on the larger nail, I'm going to take this bouquet of flowers, which is quite larger, and I'm going to put this more towards the top of the nail because I'm going to add an egg later on.
Then on the pinky, I go ahead and take this little rabbit. And you'll see here that I did mess up the application of the rabbit. And in the end, I decided I didn't like it. So you're gonna see me taking it off. And they are super easy to take off. So if you do mess it up, or if you decide you don't actually want that foil on there, all you have to do is take some acetone on a wipe and it comes off super clean and easy. And here I'm just going back in with my foil adhesive gel and I'm gonna do another layer on top of that larger bouquet of flowers because like I said, I'm gonna go back in. And here we're taking the egg and I'm gonna put this on the bottom of the bouquet of flowers. So that way it looks like the egg is sitting right in front or almost that the egg is like the vase to the flowers. Now I'm gonna take my charms bin and I'm gonna pull out these gold crosses. So again, sticking with that theme of the crosses from the glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on that pinky that I took the foil off of. And I'm gonna go through and do my steps for applying my aloe charm. I do have a separate video up on how to apply these charms. So I'll leave that link down below as well. So once I have that cross sealed in and applied as I needed to, I go ahead and go back in with that light elegance glitter. I'm gonna fill in the center of the cross so that way this gives it a really cohesive design with the rest of the nails. And now it's time for top coat. I will be using my light elegance as super shiny. And here's how my nails came out. I think they came out super cute. I honestly just winged this design and I just wanted to kind of play with some different stuff I haven't used before. So I haven't used these Easter foils or the cross glitters and I haven't used, I don't think I've used these Light Elegance colors either. So it was really fun just to be able to play with it. The design came out really good. I feel like it's really cohesive. I honestly really like these. I'm gonna do different Easter nails on myself, but I kind of want these on my nails now. So you guys will have to let me know down below what you guys think. Also, thank you so, so much. I did hit a thousand subscribers, so there will be a giveaway coming up in the next few weeks. Give me some time to get it all filmed and edited and get it all together but thank you so much i appreciate every single one of you and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe so you can be entered in the giveaway and you'll be notified when that comes out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing my holiday nails thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time bye